hi everyone and welcome back to my channel so here I took a piece of cardboard and I started to draw the shape for the telephone I wanted to make and then I will start to cut it off the extra pieces and then I'll start to apply the foil on top of this to give some texture and uh, some style to this what's in my mind actually so I will be keep adding the foil um, as much I feel that it should be so yeah you will be keep following the things I'm doing uh, if you want to have the same shape for your telephone then you have to actually do the things I'm doing here or you can add more stuff as you want so here uh, in the center the middle part I will keep it uh, higher where I want to put the doll and then the rest of the parts are a uh, little bit lower same like a mountain shape you can say maybe and then here I have some fuse bulbs these were uh, not working actually they were fused and they are very heavy and nice shape so I was thinking to instead of throwing them I will use them for my craft so today I'm using it here to make the uh, part of the receiver for the phone telephone so I will put it because it was having nice shape and design so I decided to use it for this project and then here I have a doll which I bought very cheap just for the face to make the mold for the sculptures I was uh, using in my previous video so I cut the leg don't worry she's not feeling anything <laughs> anyway then I will cut the leg just to bend it like this because this was not having a bending part so these are the rolled newspapers for my very old uh, project I was uh, keeping them so this I'm using for the bottom of the telephones just to make the feet to make it uh, higher you can use any uh, holders or anything on the bottom or uh, easy to make rolled newspaper that's not difficult at all so yeah the doll I cut it the leg actually just to make it bend easily uh, to give the style for a sitting position that's why I cut it because this doll was not having the joints to bend the legs but there was joints for the arms only so that's why I cut it and then I'm covering the sides as well with some more foil to give it a nice finishing you can use the newspaper as well if some people say the foil is very expensive you can use the newspaper but for me I need to finish the things fast and this is much more easy to give shape so that's why I use the foil and then here I have this ceramic powder um, I actually some people use what are you using uh, for these things this powder is what actually this is ceramic powder in which I add some glue as well and water as well to make a thick paste but if you don't have ceramic powder or plaster of Paris you can simply use uh, cement that's fine also so then I will start to apply this mixture on top of the foil so I can color the foil as well because color will simply not come on uh, foil it will comes out after getting dry uh, it will not absorb so I have to put this texture paste something on top of foil to make it uh, heavy also and to give some texture also so I will be covering it all here it's dry now and I was very happy with the result because it became after getting dry it became very heavy as well and very hard uh, I wish I could make you hear the sound how it was making sound after getting dry because it was heavy so that was nice thing I did and then here on top of uh, this part I will make her sit and I will make her leg also stick back with her broken leg actually maybe and then you will see the next step here I will bring out the other part of the leg and then I will stick it
like this I will make her the leg in the bending position and then I will use the hot glue also obviously from the feet side as well and on the knee also to stick them properly and then I will be applying some more hot glue on her knee part to fill the space here you can see and then I bought the bring out the other leg as well to stick it uh, with her body as well in straight position not in the bending position like this and excuse me if you find any of my English words funny or uh, I said wrong because uh, I'm not in the mood or in position to record any video or audio actually so sorry for that anyway then I uh, took the head and you can see I have removed the hairs as well because I want to make uh, the hairs with the clay so instead of making her head straight I will be making her bend little bit her hair uh, sorry the head I will apply some hot glue on the neck and then I will stick the head in a little bit uh, bending position uh, like this it will give her nice uh, actual look uh, instead of having the straight head and then here I have white acrylic paint uh, with some uh, glue as well white glue to apply on her body uh, actually you can leave it as it is the color but uh, it was a nice combination to make her uh, like a sculpture instead of a doll uh, so that's why I, I uh, colored her face as well uh, to make it looks like real sculpture instead of dolls so then I will be coloring the bottom parts the feet as well of the fawn with the white acrylic paint here you can see and then here I have uh, empty cardboard piece of the paper tape and here I have a lid of an empty plastic box which I'll be using these things for the dialer and yeah then I will be sticking them together with uh, the base of the phone here on this part then here on a piece of cardboard I started to draw some uh, flowers shape actually you can use the clay as well but the purpose to show is that you can save the clay and if you don't have clay you can obviously use the cardboard as well to make the flowers it's not important that you have to use the expensive things or the clay for all these per uh, projects so I just showed that you can use the cardboard as well to make uh, the flowers and then I will be starting to just folding them a little bit then I will start to stick it uh, all around the telephone and then I will be covering these flowers as well with the same texture paste I made before with the ceramic powder and glue and water mixture so that they can be hard as well same like the telephone base so yeah after sticking all of uh, the flowers you will see I will be covering them from top and from the bottom side as well with the same texture paste and keep it in mind if you don't have this paste you can obviously use cement as well a gray or white cement or plaster of Paris because I asked them by the man about uh, plaster of Paris and he gave me this uh, powder and it was written on it uh, ceramic powder that's why I always call it ceramic but I don't uh, know exactly because I never use the plaster of Paris so I think it's the same thing but I don't know
so here you go and you can see I have um, uh, applied the flowers and then this is a mixture which I am gonna use uh, on the flowers as well and then I will let them dry completely and they, they became very hard as well from this texture paste and now in the same texture paste here you can see I have added a little bit more water I will be adding this uh, stretchy fabric uh, it's uh, just colors on it don't worry it's not dirty uh, some people ask me what kind of fabric I use uh, I told them uh, that uh, the fabric of uh, under shirts of the man's uh, the stretchy fabrics that's very nice for the uh, sculptures to use so I always prefer either I buy the scarves uh, stretchy kinds to uh, use for my sculptures or if you don't have doesn't matter you can use any kind of fabric but for me I feel much more classy and those things uh, for the stretchy type of fabric thick fabric they give much more nice designs uh, then I will start to um, stick this fabric all around her body by giving some style by showing a little bit of her legs as well and uh, yeah this uh, part is totally up to you how you want to style her dress so you can do it as you want so here I'm using now air dry clay uh, which I'm going to make her hairs but I think it was uh, looking beautiful like this as well without hairs it's like uh, more classy maybe but anyway uh, then I start to apply some white glue on her head so I can stick easily the clay and it don't comes off uh, so fast and some people always ask me what type of clay I'm using I actually have no idea about about these things what specially materials or things are used in uh, clay or those things I just uh, go mark in and I start to grab I just read that this is clay and I bring it it works good or it don't works good I don't read anything I just start to work and I feel that um, I was making them work in any way so yeah it's um, air dry clay and it was written on it actually molding clay anyway then this is the part as well I have been doing in my all previous videos making hairs making body and those things so that's why I made it in uh, fast speed to do not make the video long uh, if you want to know how to make all these hairs in details you can see my previous videos in which I have been making their hairs as well so yeah here I bought some more clay to bring in front of her uh, shoulders as well uh, to give some style of hairs you can make the style of hairs as you want but this is my way and I felt it much more beautiful like this so that's totally up to you whatever style you want to make I'm just giving the ideas how to do the things and here I have a needle then I will start to uh, give some detailings for her hairs to style them to um, make the parts of the hairs layers I don't know whatever it is and yeah then I will leave them to dry then I will be covering from the back side as well you will see the style of hairs
and here you can see the back part I was uh, actually loving the back part of her body uh, the style for her dress from backside and the hairs um, anyway uh, so yeah here you can see how I made her hairs and then I will be keep adding some more hairs uh, on top um, because I was not getting satisfied from the style a little bit anyway here is um, I don't know from where this part this is maybe from a toy or something so I found the shape nice but if you don't have something like this you can use any kind of small bottles or anything to make the holder for the telephone so this is I'm going to stick here on top of the that fuse bulb I made before I stick it so here I will be sticking this also as uh, on top of that and here is this extra uh, colors pencil which I will be using here on top of this this all part is going to be the holders for the receiver actually that's why I was trying my best to give the shape exact here is the rolled newspapers uh, long time before I was making some beads from the newspaper as well some jewelry so this is from that time which I'm using today instead of necklace I started to use it here and then here is the clay which I'm going to use for um, again for the holder and I will be turning it like this then I will leave them to dry completely I have made two parts with the clay here you can see and then here I have again some more clay which I will be using here on top of the color pencil I put it I will be sticking the clay with the pencil and the holder I uh, applied before the page color so they can stay on the place and they can hold each other properly then here I took the uh, thick piece of paper from the IKEA book uh, or any page or any uh, you can use even uh, the cereal box cardboard which is thin not thick just to roll it to make receiver then I will be making it folding it like this then I will stick some paper tape uh, around it then I took again another piece of cardboard a little bit thicker than the first one to uh, make the receiver shapes and I found it a little bit wider so I cut it off a little bit and then I will be sticking it with the hot glue in the center of the first pipe I made okay these are some parts from the shower uh, it was uh, having some tiny stones inside to uh, stain to filter the uh, water of the shower so it was empty and uh, now I'm using it for this purpose because it was looks like the holes looks like the receiver parts so I decided to use them as you can see I'm saving almost everything of the home which is extra to use them for my crafts and then I cut it some pieces of cardboard to cover these parts so I can stick it with the um, holder of the uh, phone telephone and here again I'm using the rolled newspapers which I will be sticking on the center of the each part of this circle to stick it with the rolling pin it looks like the rolling pin actually the uh, receiver I made 
and yeah here you will see here I applied again some glue on both sides and then I will be sticking it like this and then here I am taking some more clay to make the parts of the receiver uh, once it's done you will understand what actually I am doing just to grip each and every part uh, together that's why I'm using the clay as well and secondly I'm using it just to give the style for the receivers there was uh, like rods and those things so actually the main purpose was this to make it and secondly to grip each other together so here you can see what I was doing actually with clay I have covered all that newspaper rolled a bead with the clay and then here the sides hold as well I will be covering them with the clay and then I will be adding some more clay on the bottom part as well and now these holders are dry now so I will be sticking them with the hot glue on top of the rolled newspaper beads I applied here by bringing some hot glue down to the bead as well and if you want you can use um, uh, more clay to stick the holder and the newspaper as well same like receiver I made so you can use more clay here to uh, stick it more properly and I'm sorry for the background sound of the dog anyway here you can see this is how it looks like now and here goes the receiver so now here I'm using again more clay to give uh, some design to receiver and to cover the sides of the rolled uh, cardboard paper I use cardboard piece I use here on this part so now here is my favorite part to color it now I have to uh, a golden acrylic paint it's burnt maybe burnt acrylic paint burnt golden not the exact golden color but I loved it uh, but the texture of this paint was not very nice because it was a little bit uh, runny when I was applying it but uh, I worked very um, difficult with this paint I don't know why because I couldn't get the new colors because of the situations so I had to work with this but I love the color actually not the quality of the color but anyway then uh, this is acrylic paint which I will be coloring all the dress of the doll her hairs and all the fawn uh, with this color instead of just leaving we will be leaving her body uh, white as it is and uh, I will be coloring all the fawn with this golden acrylic paint And the same thing we will be coloring for the receiver as well by leaving the center part uh, plain because I will be coloring it white.
you can use the colors of your choice if you don't like white and golden combination you can use whatever colors you like you can make it black and golden as well or any color of your choice that's totally up to you so here I have now silver acrylic made I decided to give some shade to her dress and to telephone as well so here you will see how it looks nice by adding some more uh, some silver shade to her dress and on top of golden as well so yeah I was loving the texture the shade it was giving now and I will be not I will not be using uh, too much silver it's just like shade to give here you can see now especially her dress was looking very nice after giving this uh, silver shade okay this is actually came out the texture I was using in this box so once it got dry and I removed it it gave the texture of the bottom of this box so I decided to use it for the dialer and it was very nice shape and it was actually white also so I thought I will use it here so now I will be sticking it here on this part with the hot glue and then I will be making some buttons as well the tilers uh, for this and the rest things are very easy to understand so here is a cardboard piece I made the golden buttons uh, dialer buttons and then I made them red actually just to make the idea where I'm gonna stick it because I was not having any color beside me to point the numbers that's why a red marker came in my hand and I started to point the numbers where I need to stick these uh, cardboard pieces for the dialing numbers actually and if you get the real ones from the market that will be more nice and realistic actually and then with the permanent uh, pen I will start to write the numbers and then after finishing I will be using um, hot glue on top of these to give them glass looks and to make them like 3d shape uh, prominence more and um, after that I will be using um, craft form silver color in the center of this dialer uh, just for style and for uh, beauty also so this one I will be putting here then a bead white color I will be using in uh, the flowers one bead I will use in one big flower white color and then I will be using the craft form again for the small flowers to put it in the center and here we are almost done I hope you like the video if you want to watch more videos like this like sculptures or more styles for the telephones or old vintage style crafts uh, please subscribe to my channel um, and uh, click on bell notification so you don't miss many videos because there are some people they don't click on bell notifications and they forget to watch and they forget to receive the notifications of my upcoming videos so please subscribe share my videos uh, give me like comment down below if you want to know or if you want to watch something else and thank you so much for watching and bye for now